Hi, I'm Captain Jay Tarkington here on behalf of the Heart Research Institute. Today we're going to be showing you a watershed model set in a coastal area, paying particular attention to underground storage tanks. Welcome to our coastal town. We've got our industrial area. We've got our residential area complete with a septic tank. We've got our ongoing construction site, high rise area, our wastewater treatment facility, our gas station, our little dock area, our port area downtown, our farmland, and then our resort area over here complete with golf course. Note in the water, we've also got in the estuary, we've got a nice little oyster reef going there. And then on out here, farther out in the water, we've got our coral reef. All right, next we're gonna add some pollutants to these areas. This could be wastewater, human waste. We've got our wastewater facility over here. And of course, our gas station with its underground tanks. If these things are engineered properly, they work very well. However, uh, if they are not or have had some sort of crack in them, you can see what would happen if we have a large rainfall. During a heavy rainfall event, if the tanks are leaking and the ground becomes saturated, you can see that it will actually ooze its way out of there. This water can also make its way down into groundwater. Now we're going to add various point and non-point source pollutants to our model. Miscellaneous industrial pollutants. Lots of oil and sludge on our roads and bridges, especially around our storm drains. Of course, at our gas station, our wastewater treatment plant, more oil sludge and around our docks and our marine facilities. All right, we'll be using fertilizers around town to keep everything nice and green. Around the house, around the apartment complex here. Of course, our farmland, they use quite a bit of fertilizer. And then, of course, to keep our golf course and our resort area nice and green. And pesticides, because we certainly don't want bugs around. Farmers, of course, utilize a lot of this for protection of their crops. And in our resort area, we don't want folks being bitten by mosquitoes. And lastly, we've got sand and silt. 
This is the stuff that kind of runs off the roads here. We're gonna find a lot of that up in our cleared lands and our construction areas here. This is for future house building up in this area, evidently. Our farmlands produce quite a bit as well, whenever it's all plowed up. One new thing to this model we're gonna add is we're gonna talk a little bit about marine debris. And to represent the marine debris, we're gonna be using some of this little oatmeal here to represent some of our styrofoams and plastics. I'm adding marine debris here, various plastics and styrofoam, certainly around our resort area. Miscellaneous spots around town. You've all seen plastic bags blowing around along our dock areas. All right, here comes the rain. As you can see, a lot of that rainfall collects in our wetland areas there at first. Eventually, when that wetland fills up, however, it does dump over and can definitely have an effect on our nearby oyster reefs. Notice how our fertilizers and pesticides run off pretty easily with a moderate rainfall. And then as it continues to rain, it really starts to bring down all of our marine debris. We're over in our industrial area right now. Notice how that wetland pond there is filling up. Doing a good job holding on to a lot of this stuff. Eventually it will get too full and it will too spill into the water. Notice how our underground storage tanks continue to overflow. Our model looks a lot different than it did originally here, and our pretty clean water that was over our oyster reef and our coral reef out here are no longer that way. Notice how the wetland areas are really good at containing and holding on to that water for a short while. As you can see, all these combined pollutants really make a mess for a lot of our aquatic environments. Uh, with proper tank design, limiting the amount of fertilizer and pesticides that we use, we can decrease the load on this system and uh, hopefully maintain a healthier environment.